we started our road trip with a drive to the nearby city of Wuxi in Jiangsu province. Today we are in Wuxi, which is about an hour from Shanghai, a little bit further from where we live in Shanghai. Um, and yeah, it's the first time coming to this city. It's a beautiful spring day. So we're gonna check out the city, see what's around, um, and hopefully see some beautiful cherry blossoms. Our first stop was to Yuan Toji, a scenic mountain park filled with stunning cherry blossoms. Entrance to the park cost 90 RMB each. We recommend arriving in the early morning to avoid the long queues getting in. Since the blossom trees were in full bloom, which only happens for one to two weeks of the year, the park was very busy. For lunch, we both wanted a salad, so opted for a more expensive Italian restaurant near the hotel. Unfortunately, the restaurant was sold out of almost everything we wanted to eat, so we ended up eating far less healthy than we had originally planned. It was then time to check into the hotel. We stayed at Deacon House. It's an interesting setup. What is this? Oh, okay. Oh, a bath. Hello. It's a very odd set up the way that the room's laid out but cute nonetheless big bed and views after a short rest we headed over to the old town area of wuxi which is nanchangjie but first 
we walked through a modern cafe area. Old days, I used to think I'm the problem That I was way too sensitive React and way too much Until I realized we were different types Carrying a different triggers Scaring us to death Forget the world aside Just for a while Some way We will be fine Safe place Just you and I Always I'll wait for us to collide The old streets were very busy but it gave the area a wonderful bustling atmosphere Before dinner, we headed back to the hotel to make use of their gym facilities since our lunch put us into the bad books with Mew's personal trainer. Come on, soft, turn the key. So, Mew and I are on a really strict diet um, in preparation for the wedding and trying to lose weight. Or Mew's trying to gain muscle. Um, so we can't go out to dinner like we usually would. Yeah. So we're going back to the olden days when Mew and I, when we first started dating, we lived in England. We used to go different places on weekends. So back then when we were poor students, Yeah. the only thing we could afford was food from a grocery store that we would sit down in the hotel room and have a little picnic. And so today we're gonna do the same. So this time, instead of going to the, the supermarket, we have ordered food um, and we thought we could get a few different dishes to show you some more traditional foods for yeah. your wishy. Cauliflowers and some meat in it. But I guess it would be quite sweet because, you know, all the wushi authentic cuisines are all very sweet. So uh... Good. <laughs> I love sweet food. And we've, we've both got plenty of rice. Is this more cauliflower? You got two? Huh? Did I? Celery and beef, quite healthy. This is a whole chicken. The next day we woke up early and opted for Waggers for breakfast, since many restaurants were still closed. We drove to Huishan Gujian ancient town. Huishan ancient town was built during the Tang dynasty and flourished into the Ming and Qing dynasties. Many of the ancestral homes in the town are now from the Qing dynasty, where more than 80 family names are represented. Bye. 
got back into the car and drove to the edge of Wuxi to visit Yuan Tea Farm. I feel like this vlog we haven't done much talking. We've been quite busy, but we are now going to tea plantation uh, right on the edge of Wuxi. Today's not as warm as yesterday, but still we're a little bit lost. So we're gonna walk around, see if we can find our way in. can hike up this tea plantation and then there are workers in the field currently picking the tea. Uh, they're also doing construction down the bottom so I recommend walking up to the top but it's very nice and the road uh, is not too treacherous unless you want to walk up between the tea. It was lovely to breathe in the fresh air and stare out at the stunning scenery. We then headed to the nearby giant Buddha at Lingshan Shengjing. The weather was starting to turn and with not enough time to fully explore the site before closing time and rainfall, we decided to just send the drone up to show us the stunning architecture. This is definitely somewhere we'd like to explore further in future. If you enjoyed this video, please considering like, subscribing and commenting. We have more travel vlogs coming soon.